Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late, out of date NXT review. The Wednesday Night War, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Second night. Oh my. Second fucking weekend. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not this fucking like I understand this this is like apparently oh what a light what a time to be a wrestling fan. Seriously, the only people who think this way are people who are fucking kinda like fans of more of the indie fucking pure wrestling bullshit. They're not fan of fucking what wrestling what professional wrestling is supposed to be. They're not fans of like they don't give a shit about fucking wrestling with characters, stories and you know, the build-up and shit. They don't care about fucking wrestlers that are looking like wrestlers or being badasses and shit. They don't give a shit about none of that. They just want great matches. You know? And, like, uh, I might do a video later. Let me just fucking relax. I'm fucking tired as fucking sore and shit. You know? Uh, last night, I, tr I, I tried to watch NXT. I was gonna... I didn't feel like doing a fucking two-sided fucking uh, viewing. Like, I would have watched with two TVs, but I was just fucking tired. I didn't give a fuck. I decided just, like, fucking, you know what? Because I was like, no, fuck it. Just let me just watch one fucking show. Like, I can't fucking withstand fucking two shows. And I decided right after when NXT fucking starts out with Cruiserweight shit with Leo Rush. I was like, fuck it. Not watching it. I decided to switch to fucking AEW to at least because it looks like a fucking wrestling show. At least it looks nice. Even I'm not saying that it fucking was a good show. You know, like, I'm AEW, com AEW review coming after this, but. No, I don't give a fuck, man. I don't give a fuck, but. The thing is, even I fell asleep during watching that shit, you know? So, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, fuck. I don't understand how people are saying this is a what a time to be a wrestling fan while watching like shows like AEW and fucking NXT. You know, I guess if you're a fan of more indie bullshit like, like, whatever the fuck, I don't know. Especially let's fucking talk about this. I'll probably talk more about this later. But yeah, NXT get got a seven ninety thousand viewership. They got 791,000 viewership as compared to last week with their 891,000 viewership, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. And I will talk about this too, about AEW. AEW got a fucking 1.08 million viewers as compared to one last week's 1.409. Apparently, apparently fucking smarts are playing football. I mean, not football. They're playing fucking ba baseball. Like, so, they, they fucking complain about Raw and SmackDown or something. Like, they'll complain about, like, oh, it's because of football, guys. This is their fucking football argument. Not, like, whether if the show is actually fucking good, you know? Even with fucking baseball, it doesn't help, like, when, like, you know, smart, they like to fucking, like, oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, like... It's impressive for, like, sure, yeah, for, you know, for the first few weeks already, like, AEW just debuted. Yes, they're getting million ratings. Okay, like, that, but they're in the ones, you know? All right, that's impressive, I guess. But, like, in, in reality, but they went down. They went down from last week. What does this fucking tell you that even when they fucking have a million rating, they're in the million, but, like, for Fox Chase, this is just, like, what makes it better than Raw, you know? They're literally getting the same amount of rings as fucking Raw. And you guys can get complaining about fucking Raw sucking. You know what I mean? Oh, AEW beat NXT. Okay, but like fucking like still. They like, fucking both like not really that good. Okay. Just being fucking goddamn honest with you guys. You know what I'm just saying. Uh, okay, so let's fucking start with fucking NXT. I will do an AEW uh, fucking review later. Um... But again, about what well, I was going to say about, uh, I will probably do a fucking, like, ratings talk video, but, like, yeah, okay, I'm trying to fucking see, like, because, again, like, okay, alright, the show official, but yeah, grab your son of the line last, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 
I could drink Coke now, but like I decided, well, let me just drink my ginger ale. Especially because, like, even though I'm 100% better, but unfortunately, thanks because of the fucking weather, it's probably best to just drink ginger ale for now, ladies and gentlemen. Even though, like, uh, I did drink a little Coca Cola. But yeah, get your Coke soda and wine glass, motherfuckers. It's good stuff, and no matter what, man, ladies and gentlemen. But fuck the fucking weather, man. Even when it's fucking like you're not really sick, you still get a problem with your throat and crap, you know? Even though, like, tequila, of course, the salt water, garble that shit. Fucking do something with your throat, some throat tricks. But in reality, man, it's fucking garbage, man. But, ugh. Ah, right. Cheers, you motherfuckers. I will tell you guys this, though. It's gonna be really hard to try to do reviews. I just started fucking wrestling practice in my fucking college. In my new college, I, na I am not part of the team. You know, I'm gonna be like, apparently according to WJ, I look like the next fucking Indian Jack Swagger. But again, in the again, I'm not Indian though, I'm really not though, you know. Uh, but uh, you know, oh, well, we'll talk. Well, I'll mention that. I should mention that in the AEW review because I'm not doing an AEW review, but fuck, I'm not yet. But okay, but let me just do this quick video. So fucking the show starts with fucking. Oh, let me get a charger. <sighs> See, this is the beauty of fucking being on a big black couch, ladies and gentlemen. Be fucking relaxing while fucking, you know, trying to do a review. But it doesn't get... Um, uh, so it starts with cruiser shit, and immediately I just didn't give a fuck. I'm sorry. I just don't give a shit. Like, you know, this is... You know, it made me, like, turn it off. Like, nah, like, I didn't give a fuck, you know? I don't give a fuck. First match. Leo Rush defeats Drew Gulak to become the NX new a NXT... And I guess it's NXT Cruiserweight Champion. Then yeah, fuck. I'm sorry. Oh, and the end. Go fuck with your big black couch. It's a gay fucking twink winning. Okay. A gay fucking black twink. Second match. Rhea Ripley def squashes Aaliyah. Whatever, fuck. And she calls out Shayna. I don't give a fuck. So you got like a bitch who looks like Pete Dunne. Who looks like a fucking man. I wouldn't fuck her in a big black couch. Make the go shit. Oh shit. Uh, it's fun fact about Aaliyah. Apparently, she's like a bitch from the YWC. Back in the old days, she was also part of the YWC back in the day. Um, now she's like, whatever. She's like, you know, I, I guess I fuck her, you know? Big black couch. Definitely more than fucking Rhea Ripley. Hell yeah. So, I, I don't know. Third match, ladies and gentlemen. Forgotten Sons of East Breezango. What the fuck? Uh, and like you like look at these guys like the from forgotten sons like what is this like <sighs> oh you fuck out oh. even if I try to watch this match people I wouldn't give a fuck fourth match Cameron Grimes defeats Bio out of the match Kevin Killian Dean beats Don Kiao or Bio no Bio what the fuck Bio well, Fucking Myers so sound fucking gif him fucking <laughs> he, he lacks libido, well, that's what I have to say. <laughs> Alright. Fucking goddamn, like these names are fucking even if I fucking watch like the types of names they have of these wrestlers and the wrestlers they look like holy fuck. No. I don't know what to say. <sighs> and then you got fucking Roger Strong defeating fucking Isaiah Swerve Scott or something with some help of the undisputed gay era. Then after match development team Dream announces he will get a rematch with R R Roderick at, at fucking in two weeks. And then he does like a gay promo where he shows fucking Roderick Strong. He shows like a picture of Roger Strong and Titantron. It's literally fucking gay, especially this more like sorry, this is fucking gay. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? And Tomasa Chapel comes out says he's he's he comes for fucking for Goldie. Where who are the fuck what does that mean? Like fucking Adam Cole? Okay. Bianca Blair Blair defeats Dakota Kai. I don't give a fuck. This this match wouldn't fuck made me fucking dumb bitches the big black couch with them go shit oh shit, so no thank you. Um uh, Seth for next week, guys. Pete Dunn defeats for, for first nothing. Pete Dunn versus Damien Priest or something. I don't give a fuck. And then the main event, 
Walter defeat Kasula! Kasula! Where the fuck? Apparently this match was great. This was the best match. This was so great. And, oh yeah. Apparently NXT is, is officially going to be until 10-10. So it's an hour, so it's two hours and ten minutes. Give me a fucking break. So it's like, it's more longer than AEW and... Wow. And then fucking Kathy Kelly announces Tommaso Ciampa versus uh, uh, Angel Garza, whoever the fuck that is. But yeah, this Walter Casada match, it makes no sense when Walter is this big time motherfucker where he's like giant, right? But he's fucking losing, not losing, he's getting beat up by Casada, some Japanese jobber. Oh, he's the big time, guys. You know, you get these motherfuckers start smart. They're going to say, oh, Nakamura is a big time star. Kenta is a big time star. Yeah, this is a Let me get this guy different. Okay? And so fuck this. Oh, what a time to be a wrestling fan. Give me a fucking break, man. They're talking about AWX. It was great shows, and they like, like, fuck off, okay? I don't give a fuck. You know, yeah, I like Walter. I want to like it, but you're kind of ruining one with this fucking, like, bullshit, you know? That's really all I have to really say about NXT. That's my fucking review for NXT. Even if I fucking try to be more in depth of watching this shit, like, I don't give a fuck. Just by what I look, seeing things, like, who gives a fuck? Alright. It is what it is. With this Wednesday Night War with NXT. Alright, hey, the review coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, that's all I don't gotta say, really. I just keep real motherfuckers. Gonna be muscles, gonna be gaps. Gotta be black couch to fuck your bitch, monkey couch. Drink a soul and wine glass magnificently. Cheers, motherfuckers. That's all I don't gotta say. Alright, since I got time with this fucking phone, because I got two phones to record and shit, I can definitely pop try to do a ratings video right after this. So I'm going to start with the AEW review, but that, that, that video will be uploaded, I guess, tomorrow. I'll try to upload that video tomorrow, but, like, tonight, it's, it is 1 in the morning, though, but I'm not very fucking tired and sore and shit. Doing it for you, motherfucker. For the people. But, you know, just for, like, because, you know, it's already late out of day, and then get to do this review yesterday, so. This, this is what it is. That's why I don't got to say people. Till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye. And for y'all motherfuckers that feel you did you even the lunch. I don't give a fuck, alright? Who cares? I'm not dealing with this fucking bullshit. I'm not gonna try to fucking I'm a normal who even fucking mean there and man. Don't give me the, don't give me this bullshit like oh you do a watch like you like fuck off. Fuck this shit. like I don't need to like I it's like the same bullshit anyways. And but my, for for y'all motherfuckers that fucking Really, there's no fucking difference with the main roster in this shit, alright? It's literally the same shit we've seen in the main roster. A bunch of no-name fucking jobbers. I get you. I bet you. All these fucking matches are literally the same shit as Ricochet versus Apollo Crews. The most uninteresting match in history. These matches aren't interesting as hell. So fuck it. Alright, guys. Till next time. Peace. Yeah, bye.